Hi, my name is Ellie. I am one half of Tough Souls, and today I'm here to tell you all about the Western Way Galway. The Western Way is a 55 km linear trail that we walked over three days. We started this trail at Inan, where we had just finished the Western Way Mail, and walked south through County Galway to finish in the town of Uachtarard. This is our 34th trail when walking all 42 of Ireland's National Waymark trails. Our first day on this trail was a washout. Leaving Nilan in torrential rain, we made it as far as the other end of Killary Fjord, about a six kilometre walk and called it a day. Killary Fjord is a beautiful place and struggling through the rain we could imagine the amazing views we would have had on a different day. When we had left that morning there was a short road section out of Linan and then it's up the side of the mountain walking almost parallel to the road along the coast. At the end of this mountain walk we turned off trail, followed a short stretch of road and stayed at the Connemara Hostel. Leaving the Connemara Hostel on day two our end point for the day was Mam, a small village on the far side of Maulmain Mountain Pass. The trail for the day was very straightforward, in quite a literal sense. We made our way along dirt tracks, forest roads, bogland and small lanes, seeing the way markers stretch out for eternity in front of us. That afternoon we reached a major left turn and started heading up to the Maulmain Pass. The climb wasn't long or high, but the views that stretched out around us showed the whole valley we'd slowly walked the length of that day. What I hadn't been expecting to see at the top of the small pass was a chapel, and yet there it was. A stoic St. Patrick stands guard of the grounds, with a small sheep hugging the side of his robes. The place had a powerful stillness to it. Descending the far side, the large dark clouds that had been slowly pursuing us all morning caught up once again bombarding us with rain as we followed the road down into Mam. Our final day started on small quiet roads which meandered along before bringing us up a hillside to some breathtaking views. It was one of those moments where I remembered why this project started. A break in the weather, fresh wind whipping damp hair dry and Connemara laid out in a patchwork of sunshine and faraway rain. On the far side of the hill we turned off road and entered a long winding boardwalk section, stopping to look at waterfalls and fast flowing streams. When we reached the far side of the forest, we found ourselves at a large footbridge, just slightly upstream where the river meets Loch Carb. Small islands dotted out from the shore, mountains framed in rain clouds filling the background. We crouched under the bridge while a heavy rain shower passed. The final 12 kilometers of the trail follow a small road down into the town of Uchtdraord, the end point of the trail. If we were to walk this trail again, we would walk it from south to north, as Inan is an amazing area to end in, and has the possibility of continuing north through the Mayo section and onto Newport. There's indoor accommodation available at each town or village along the way, with many guest houses familiar with the trail and therefore able to cater to people looking to be picked up or dropped off at certain sections. For more information on the Western Way Galway, including free maps, blog posts and videos, make sure to check out the links in our description. And as always, these videos are made possible by the amazing people who support us on Patreon. It's through their continued support that we can keep creating, and I'd like to say a huge thank you to them, especially this past year. Today, I'd like to give a special shout out to Mags Terrell, Michael Quinn and John and Karen Gibson. Thank you all so much for supporting us, we really, really appreciate it, and I'll see you in our next video.